Hi, everybody, and welcome to another edition of Words, Images, and Worlds. I am so glad to be talking with comics creator Jordan Gibson today. Jordan, thank you for jumping on and talking with me for a few minutes today. Hey, Jason, thanks for having me. Yeah, my pleasure, my pleasure. And uh, you mentioned you're feeling a little under the weather, so thank you for jumping on as you're not uh, feeling the best as well. Oh, no worries. Happy to do it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, I first discovered your work through Batman Adventures, the Batman animated world, and I've since gone through and uh, checked out other things that you've done. That that was just my first glimpse because I'm a huge fan of that particular style and that storyline and story world. Uh, it was formative for me, so great to see your work in, in that world, and glad to talk about that, as well as any other worlds of creating that you're engaging with. Thanks. Yeah, I mean, same here. I've, I, I've always loved that. That show is what got me into all of this, so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, so well done, and uh, I appreciate the the artistic vision that you bring to it. Um, I've enjoyed several creators in that world. So, so we'll, we'll get around to talking a little bit more about that in a few minutes, but just curious about um, how you got into this world of comics creating. It sounds like uh, you were a comics reader or, or at least exposed to comics and superhero stories as a young person. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I, um, I was, about three when when the animated series aired <clears throat> and my dad started taping it for me just because he'd seen that i liked the adam west show oh yeah, yeah. Uh, and i don't mm -hmm. even remember that you know like that was so far back uh, um but there were reruns on on tv uh but yes ever since then i had been always drawing superheroes and uh we would go to card shows a lot in the 90s which i feel like is not a thing anymore but Mm -hmm. That was kind of the closest thing I had to Comic Cons, and I would just collect all the Fleer Ultra and all those like DC and Marvel cards, yeah. and draw those. And um, then over time, I I just kept getting more and more serious about it. And uh, right around uh, college, I started to go to conventions and meet creators, and uh, I started doing flatting work for colorists. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, then from there, I started coloring some comics for some friends and then started have started doing my own full pencils and inks now, too. Nice. Yeah. Nice. So you, you have the range of <clears throat> different creative uh, methods, it sounds like. Yeah, it was. I mean, especially. Yeah, I, was, I didn't see it going that way. Like it was kind of, you know, um, I just filled in for whoever needed the help that I could get a hold of really. Yeah. Um, yeah. I started flatting for Mitch Jarrods and uh, Jordi Belair and uh, Jordi kind of took me under her wing and taught me more about coloring because that was an area that I knew next to nothing about. Mm -hmm. um, and I had just gotten a Wacom tablet maybe a couple of years before that. So that, yeah, that was, that was really big. And, uh, then after that, I, I moved to Somerville, Massachusetts. And um, there's like a whole collective of artists there who are really good friends with. Uh, we called ourselves the Somervillains and we would hang out all the time. And uh, that was Joe Canones, Ming Doyle, Erica Henderson, a lot of really cool people there. Oh, so nice, nice. From there, yeah, we would, we would just hang out and, they, and then, you know, a lot of collaboration happened there and, and a lot of them giving me a lot of cool, you know, a lot of help. So I was very, very fortunate. <laughs> that That is a cool uh, friend group. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, that's, 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 that's really the, the broad strokes of it. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, as you've been working through the industry, any particular moments that have been positive, strong collaborations, uh, those those kind of experiences that bubble up? Yeah, I mean, you know, I that's another, I mean, I've been really lucky too with just the stuff I've gotten to do. Um, if I'm thinking about like 
a collaboration though my favorite uh from the past would i would say it would be dial h for hero that i did with uh with joe mm -hmm. and uh with our friend sam um and that one was significant because it was a lot of the the basic idea of that series was uh instead of just dialing and turning into you know a, a dc character you would turn into this you that you would also transform stylistically we, we did we had just seen spider-verse like a year before or or yeah. even earlier or more recent than that we were like we got to do exactly this this is so cool so you know it was really fun to like hang out with joe and collaborate on how how we would approach the the look of different characters we had like a a manga dragon ball character that we did like the watercolor pages of a manga in for them and like just a lot of really cool stuff in there for that. Alex Toth was one as well mm -hmm. that uh, we made look like his his pitch uh, his pitch art. You know, like we try to take it a step further to make it, you know, give it as much specificity as possible. I guess. Yeah. So there, there was that was a, a lot of fun to do that one in particular. Yeah. 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 Very cool and. Uh, love the playing with style and um, of course I, I love Joe's work on Batman 89 mm -hmm. as well yeah incredible yeah yeah, yeah. now great. you've <laughs> yeah. now you've also played in the the world of Spider-Man as well is that true yeah yeah for a little you know I've, I've done a couple of different things I'm um, I did uh, I did color Joe on that as well which was another big one for me um that story that he did with, with uh, Chip is really cool. Mm -hmm. And um, so I got to do that. And then I also have inked uh, my friend Hannah um, on two different Spider-Man stories, one for Spider-Man and one for Spider-Gwen. Yes. And yeah. that's, that's, an, that's another one too. The first, that's that Spider-Man story Hannah and I, did, and I did. That was the first, one of the first times I had done like any inking work and I just kind of was like well I'm not she asked me I was like I'm not gonna say no to this so I'm just gonna <laughs> go for it here and um yeah that was that one was also that's one that's very near to my heart for stuff I've worked on yeah yeah now, now the chip you mentioned is that chip Zadarsky is that right sorry yeah chip sorry yeah no no that's good uh, yeah. that's good that's cool uh yeah he, one he one did, of the very uh, creative voices out there yeah Totally. Yeah. Yeah. His, his run, he, it was the Peter Parker spectacular Spider-Man run. And mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that whole run is so good. And he, I mean, yeah, he, he would be, I would love to see him do more Spider-Man in the future. Cause that guy, I think he's it honestly. Yeah. Yeah. As, definitely. As far as modern writers go, he's got some, some extra part to Peter's voice that is, it just feels like extra genuine <laughs> whenever he's doing it. So. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And uh, it, it can be challenging to take on characters that have been around for decades like that and to do something new and interesting. And he definitely does that. Um, mm -hmm. And and also love the the revisits. I think that's why I like Batman 89 and the Batman Adventures. Uh, you know, you, you put out a book in that world and I'm probably going to read it just because it was so formative really? for me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I kind of I mean, for me, yeah, that's true. At this point, uh, there re really is one tr real Batman for me, and that is the Adve Batman Adventures Batman. You know, so like, yeah, yeah. When I asked to work on that, I was like, "Well, this is the one I want to do anyway. <laughs> like, this is nice. this would be the dream Batman to work on." So, yeah, yeah. So, what was that process like? Was that you asking DC or DC asking you, or, or how did that go down? So originally, um, Joe and I were talking about um, I maybe me working on Batman eighty nine with him, mm -hmm. and uh, I couldn't I couldn't make it work uh, schedule wise, and um, I was talking to with my editor uh, Andrew Marino, and um, he was like, "That's okay, just you know we can talk later when you get when you're free and." Uh, I'll have something for you when you come back. And I was like, okay, cool, cool. That's amazing. And then um, I reached out to him later and he was like, do you want to do a cover for Batman 
the adventures continue. And I flipped out and I was like, yes, completely. <laughs> <Yeah>. <clears throat> Sorry. And um, he was like, oh, so I sent him, I did this, uh, uh, King Features a little while ago did these flash Gordon strips mm -hmm. um, that was like a an anniversary thing and I they asked me to do one and I did it uh, I made it look like a movie serial mm -hmm. I made it black and white and uh, just tried to lean into making it a strip and a movie serial at the same time and he saw that and he was like would you want to do a gray ghost cover and I was like yes because that's mm -hmm. one of the best episodes that's that's a, that in in my heart too that is got at least top five you know like if not yeah. the the best one it's so so affecting for anybody who likes any of this stuff you know um so that was the i did that cover and then after that they liked that so much and, and it was unfortunately when ty templeton uh had his cancer diagnosis Mm -hmm. And um, he was working on that and they were looking for someone to fill in for him for a little bit. And uh, they were like, do you want to try? Because you, you seem to have a handle on the style already. And um, yeah, so that, that's how I got my shot. And yeah, it was so daunting because, man, again, I've, I've, I've done, you know, I've worked in comics for a while, but I haven't drawn a ton of sequentials. I've done, you know some smatterings here and there but this was my first real jump into anything mm -hmm. so i was it was really daunting it was it was really it really it was my dream project that i've always wanted to do and i got to do it basically first so that i was just like boy oh boy but yeah. um yeah i just i just threw myself into it i started revisiting all of the adventures and batman adventures books and, and you know bruce tim has always been one of the main inspirations for me anyway artistically like mm -hmm. that is so was so formative um so i was i just studied him and then i went back and studied all the people that he cited as references for inspiration for his work so a lot of a lot of wally wood and alex toth, toth and um just everybody like that I, I got really into ec comics and was and was oh, yeah, studying yeah. all those guys yeah, and just trying to, just anything I could see from that stuff to bring in to make it feel as genuine as possible. Um, and yeah, I just, that, so that, I just made that my, my life for, uh, for the, at least for that first issue, the, you know, I, I threw as much in as I could. And then they asked me to come back a couple more times, which was nice too. So definitely. Yeah, yeah that, but that's, yeah. that's the, that's how I got in there basically. Yeah. Nice. It, it was it was crazy it was it was so you know i get into email with with paul and alan and stuff like that was that in <laughs> itself was like worth it just to it was so cool yeah so yeah. you're on a an email thread with paul dini that's got to be a, a nice thing <laughs> <laughs> i know it's crazy it's crazy yeah yeah uh yeah he and he's you know they're both sweethearts they're so nice and it was just cool to to have them to to even do you know to get to do a, it was a little bit of collaboration like they would I got to design a fair amount of characters for the strip for the for the comic it just ended up that way like we introduced the mayor character who came in later but I got to design him for my issue and then muscle I got to give my own design to and nice um, then there's crime there's this crime boss in issue one of season three who mm -hmm. is the daughter of uh, a mob boss from Mask of the Phantasm and I got to design her like there's just a lot of really cool and that's that's what I've always wanted to do too is design characters for that show so yeah that it was heaven yeah awesome 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 I'll also say I, I would not be disappointed in any way to see uh, a Batman 89 new season with you and joe working on it i'm just putting that out there for the, oh, the minds of dc comics <laughs> um i would love that so just just throwing that I out would, there yeah. as well <laughs> that would be very cool that'd be very cool yeah i i know yeah uh i do you know i think uh, leonardo ito his his work on 89 was incredible too mm -hmm. i, I feel was. like they would stay together but yeah if there was some way i could help them do any of that i'm always down for more batman yeah <laughs> yeah um so any other sort of dream projects or dream collaborations that uh 
that are out there oh, that man. you'd like to work on? Um, yeah, yeah. I, you know, I would like to, I would love to do more in the adventures, you know, adventures continue universe. I know they're talking about doing maybe graphic novels or something down the road. I'd like to do mm -hmm. something that's more long form like that. You know, uh, the monthly grind is not a joke. It's tough. That's what I've heard. <clears throat> it was yeah. a lot of me. Yeah. A lot of me sounding like this all the time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was working on it because I would just get, uh, sick off and on. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'd love to keep doing stuff for those guys. Anything in the anim DC animated world, that's that to me is is DC Comics. So I, I would be there for that. I, I would love a shot at Spider-Man at some point. That would be like where wow. I could just draw a couple issues or something just to see. Uh, really, you know, I there's that's kind of the thing that I, I'd like is just to have like just a run on some some character, anybody that I could kind of make do my own stuff on to. Mm -hmm. I think that would be. That would be nice um, for collaborations. I Grant Morrison is one of my favorite writers, so mm -hmm. that would be really high up there for me. But there's a ton of a ton of awesome writers and comics that I would I would love to get a, a, a chance to work with newer people too. You know, mm -hmm. um, so I that's yeah that I would love to do that. Um, I do have other characters that I'm, I have these characters that I've been working on for a while that I would like to do something with. Um, one is called Mighty Hero Mantis and it's, it's like a pastiche on, um, the tokusatsu genre uh -huh. and like my common writer and stuff. And it's kind of combining all of the th things I like from all of those type of shows into one character, um, who you know and it's it's just as hitting all of it like they hit, have a robot and a cool car and all that stuff so nice that's a character that i've been i've been playing around with for a, a while and then um there's another one who is who's similar they they're, you know it's funny they both kind of like visually have elements of either spider-man or batman in them mm -hmm. um the other one is is moonlight fox and he is uh he's kind of like moon knight He's like Moon Knight Batman visually, basically. Love it. Love um, it. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, he's a just all white fox with uh, like red accents and a red crest on his forehead. Um, so those are two dudes that I've been playing around with for a while. I would love to do something with here when I get a chance to. Um, but yeah. But yeah. Those, are, those would be the, the top ones that come to mind. Cool. Yeah, I'm all into um, creative directions with the mainstay characters, but I love a good um, fresh character, fresh take, uh, anything mm -hmm. that, that kind of draws on characters and genres that I love. So that's that's really cool. And I'm also a Moon Knight fan, so that would be awesome. Oh, to awesome. See. Yeah. 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 Um, there's there's a lot of characters, too, who like looking up inspiration for from uh moonlight fox there's a lot of characters in uh manga or tokusatsu as well who also are like these all white superhero guys and you kind of there's like this it's like its own sub genre kind of there because there's a character in the 50s who is also the other big inspiration who is moonlight mask and oh, yeah. in japan moonlight mask is he's kind of like the equivalent to their George to our George Reeves Superman show. He was like the one superhero show they had in the fifties, but he's, he's more Batman. Like he, he rides on a motorcycle, he wears all white and he's uh, I think the DA and he has a little gun and he fights this, this uh, skull looking guy. You, so, you gotta have a skull looking guy in there. That's you got, I agree. I agree. <laughs> <clears throat> I agree. That's and that's the other in, big inspiration for me for that is I love Bat manga, mm -hmm. uh, the Jiro Kawada manga the, from the '60s of Batman, and uh, Lord Deathman from that has always been so striking to me as like just this. He's such a perfect visual. Like he looks cool in the in the well, no, he, not really. He looks kind of goofy in the '60s uh, American comic he's based off of. But then Jiro Kawada's version just takes that and just fully pulls him together to be his own dude. And, yeah. and, you know, after, after him 
appearing in that, that's when he starts coming into back into DC Comics. You see him, you've seen him a couple of times now, once in Grant Morrison's run and a couple other times since. So um, that, you know, actually <laughs> I'll, I'll say too, Lord Deathman would be a character who would, I would love to get to do something. <laughs> yeah. If you're yeah. talking Batman and, and uh, dream projects. Yeah. Um, but anyway, yeah. So that's, that's uh, there's a, there's a lot of guys in, in, japan who are who are moonlight looking and they made a moonlight um, a moon knight uh manga actually as well in the 70s that i i recommend checking out online uh it's it's really cool and a departure from regular moon knight but he looks awesome so yeah yeah, yeah. so um so those are the the dreams and visions anything creatively that you're working on right now that's not in nda country um that you want to share about well, yeah, I do have some stuff cooking. One of them is NDA. Um, the other one, I'm, I have a, a little cover run I'm doing right now on um, this comic, the Skybound comic called Arcade Kings uh -huh, by uh -huh. Dylan Burnett. And boy, Dylan Burnett, his art is incredible. Like just anybody who's listening, go check that comic out. Because I think, uh, what else did you do? He worked on Cosmic Ghost Rider, I believe. Nice, and, um, nice. He just has like this really cool kinetic, but st still clean style that is reminiscent of like, you know, everything we loved growing up on video, cool video games. And, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, you can see so many, the inspiration in there, of like so many cool artists that you like. I don't know. He just like, I, you know, for the past couple of months, I've been working on this and, and anytime I, they send me the next issue. I'm like, man, this guy's great. This is so good. <laughs> so, so I would nice. say, I would say, check that out. Yeah. Cool. But cool. Uh, otherwise, um, that's about all I can talk about for now. Um, but there should be more stuff soon. So just stay tuned. I, I would guess. Yeah. Yeah. We also have Comic Con, and what is that? Like a week or two from now. So. Uh, oh, that's true. Yeah hopefully some announcements there as well, but it sounds like you're keeping busy just with things that are under wraps. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> kind of setting some other stuff up now, some cool stuff, some cool stuff. I wish I could talk about it. <laughs> cool. Cool. Yeah. But, uh... Yeah. And I'll, I'll share this back around as announcements come out as well. I'm also, I wrote down uh, moonlight mask. So I'm going to go check that out as well. Okay, cool. Yeah, you'll yeah. you'll love it. It's 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 really fun. And uh, then yeah, also check out the the Moon Knight manga as well if you can find it. Um, because it's it's clear that they were just like, we need a guy who's almost Moonlight Mask to sell more. What do you have, Marvel? And they're mm -hmm. like, who's this guy? So <laughs> if you're a Moonlight fan, that's another another good thing to check out. But yeah, cool, cool. <clears throat> yeah. Um. So I I would love to see designs for these characters, and I know that um people will want to kind of keep up as announcements come are you an instagram user um are you a facebook person is there a website uh, other things that we can make sure to share about that people can yeah. follow up on yeah um i've got uh, a website gibsoncomics.com and then i'm on uh twitter and instagram as gibson agogo a g o g o and um uh uh I do have a Facebook, but that is just my Instagram as well. So, but if you want, if you're on there primarily, you can do that. Cool. Um, cool. But yeah, that's it for now. I have a blue sky, but that's, so I'm hope I'm throwing my, my everything into blue sky. I'm hoping that's the one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's a brand new one. It's a, it's a whole splintered world of social media. So, uh, but glad to hear no. that you're out there sharing things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And there's, and there's a uh, art for, <clears throat> excuse me sorry there's art for moonlight box and uh mighty hero mantis on my twitter as well and oh, instagram nice. so if, you, if you're looking for those guys there's some stuff in them there hopefully more soon yeah. I, I will be checking it out for sure cool all right well well thanks for talking with me and especially when you're uh, not feeling well but but anytime anytime glad to have you on and anything that i missed that you want to make sure to to share out um hmm. no i think i mean i think we covered a lot i mean um yeah i feel i feel good about 
about everything. Cool, <laughs> I'm trying cool, to think of this. Else. Yeah, I think we're good. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I'm glad that um, you created in the world of Batman Adventures because I know that was a that was one of the ways that I connected with your work and enjoy the work that you do. So looking forward to more to come. Yeah. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah. That, I mean, still can't believe I got to do that. That it's been a blast just to get to hang out over there. So yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you. Jordan, thank you so much. Of course. Thanks, Jason. <laughs>